Hey guys, I'm from Equipped to Endure. So today I got a new little toy to play with and that's a new WorkSharp Kin Onion Edition. I uh, gotta say it's some vast improvements over the last model. We love the last model. We saw this uh, this year at uh, Blade Show and uh, WorkSharp sent me one to play around with. I'm pretty impressed. A lot of differences to, to go over here. I just had like the one setting. It comes with a bunch of different uh, accessories uh, this, this time going around. Better motor, better platform, variable speeds, all this other good stuff we'll go into here in a few. And uh, to do our little demonstration, I'm going to bring out, and kind of this is like a side note, but you know, it's E2E, we do a couple different things on a video. I got a my Falcon even here. Now, uh, this is a custom sheath that an E2E um, subscriber actually sent me. He doesn't you know, make sheaths to sell anything. This wasn't something, uh, he's not starting a business, but he made me a sheath for uh, my Falcon even Iden. You guys can see uh, the E2E symbol he tooled in there. It's just pretty awesome. Nice sheath. I just want to take the time to say thank you. And, you know, this was the ample time because I'm going to be sharpening my Falcon even Iden. And the reason I'm going to be sharpening it is actually, I was at a wedding, believe it or not, and it was an outdoor wedding in an outdoor reception area, and we were doing some uh, campfires, and this was actually set, I was batoning some wood and set this up on a, a uh, stool uh, that somebody knocked over and it fell and hit the ground. So I got some ugly little little chips right there, right near the belly of the blade that we're going to try to work out here with this new work sharp. And this is a convex blade anyway. And if you guys can see, it's kind of scratched up from sharpening on the stone. So we're going to put it on the belt and try to get it back to that razor sharp edge. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, work sharp and talk about the different features. All right, so here we have the, the new work sharp Ken Onion Edition. Now, first off, the the one thing that I noticed off the uh, out the gate is these these little spring-loaded guides here and basically from what I understand is when you put this in here if you put too much pressure on it it's going to move the spring and you don't want that so you just put it in there and just enough torque and pressure that uh, you hold that right where it's supposed to be the other thing is is that we have this little blade guide right here that's a new addition too so once you get here this will actually roll the blade on there and uh, help you keep the blade in there so when you're taking the tip you're not going to push it over here and round off the tip that's one of the things that a lot of people were having issues with so those are the big features you can uh, adjust the before you have those clip ones that you, you slam on here to adjust the angle so right now you just adjust the angle from here as you guys can see we're at that 22.5 angle it's the belt you just grab right here a little trigger right there that loosens the spring up and the belt just slides off as you guys can see so here I got a couple different grits that this uh, demo kit came with. Let's see, we got a uh, 65 X4. This is the 120. And then I think this is another, uh, this is a 22. So we're gonna start with this, this uh, X65 here and uh, work our way up. And this is our really fine belt. Now, one complaint I heard a lot of people talk about with the original WorkSharp is, you know, would it, work, would it ruin the heat treat? And the, the answer is no. I mean, unless you're keeping it on like the 6,000 grit that it came with for an extended period of time in one spot, it will not ruin the heat treat. Uh, but one issue is you could take away a lot of material because you saw you guys saw all those sparks and everything. Now, if you're reprofiling a knife, you know, you're going to see that because you're going to take away the steel that you don't want to get a different kind of edge on there. Um, for this, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come in here and just really just focus on just getting the blade sharpened again. Now, one thing I did notice with this guard is you're going to have a, a hard time if you have any kind of choil or, or correction, if you have any kind of guard or anything, you a hard time getting it right there on the blade. So it's a, it's kind of a difficult thing. We'll see uh, how well we do with this. And this is one of my favorite knives. So hopefully uh, maybe I should uh, try this on something else, but let's just go ahead and do it. You guys can see I'm starting off a low setting. Now I can go faster, but I want to be able to control what I'm doing and I'm making sure I'm getting it in there too before I turn it on. Mm. 
And I can see where I'm taking off some uh, some metal there. It's a little more polished than normal. But this new guard really helps you with that tip control so you don't get the tip rounded off. And you guys probably can't see it as well as I can. Alright, so right off the bat yeah, nice. It's not shaving sharp, but I'm definitely pulling hairs. I can feel it tugging. You guys can see there's some hair that's it's cutting. So nice thus far. And I wasn't being really aggressive with it, guys. I'll tell you, using the, the original work sharp so much, it I think there's going to be a little learning curve on the operation of this, but the original work sharp did have its it's issues with sometimes the belts got a little screwy with me because after adjusting this piece right here get kind of oh yeah that's what I'm talking about Nice little bald spot on my hand there. So that's going to do it. I can see, now the one problem because of this guard right here, I can't really get up right at, that, at the front part, the heel of the blade there. Uh, but actually that wasn't that dull to begin with. That's actually still sharp. But I can just see, to still see the, the little extra line there. And we uh, definitely took out those little nicks in the, in the edge. And as you guys can see, we weren't taking away that much steel now. I'm going to get a little, a little scratches on the surface of my blade. You guys can see that. But, you know, I'm going for utility. This knife has been all scarred up and dinged up. You guys can see all the, the love it's had on there. It's not as pretty as it used to be. And I guess I could take it to my, my buddy Sean if I want to get it polished. But that's not really going to be necessary. This is a, a using knife. So let me go grab something else. And uh, we'll try to do some reprofiling, something a little bit more aggressive. So stand by, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got an early prototype. This is a blank of, a, I think this is an EDC-4. So this does not have an edge on it at all. And we're going to come down here and throw on some... Uh... Now, I wouldn't recommend this. This is uh, kind of extreme testing. Um, I believe this is LMAX that I'll be sharpening. So we're probably going to see a little bit of sparks on this this guy but then I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this let me see yeah I'm gonna get rid of this guard for right now I'm just gonna have to eyeball it Ooh, now see it now you see guys how I, I lost that there you gotta be careful with that so you get used to relying on that guard. So we're going to go back and put the guard back up because I don't want to. I want to try to get this as straight as possible. I'm starting to take some material off, but this stuff is pretty tough. It might take a while. I'm going to turn up the power a little bit. So I'm still getting a little bit of the, the rounded tip. That was an issue before. Not as dramatic. I mean, these guys have a little bit round tips off the top. And the other problem, too, is I'm not getting as, as good on the, the heel because of that guard. So, but 
I mean, this is tough stuff, and we're getting a, an edge on there. I still got a burr on there, but you guys, uh, that's pretty good. nice all right so you guys can see we still got a lot of work to do on this blade but you know this is something that would this is a long process to do a blink anyway but i just want to illustrate the uh the capabilities of the work sharp good stuff all right guys just uh unplugged to give you guys a little close-up we have our uh our adjustment on the speed of the motor we have this button right here to adjust where we want to put the head so in case we want to put it forward and work on our axis or anything like that, we can, or have it laid there flat on the table. We do have little grippies right here that are a new addition. And also we have a speed adjustment lock down here. So if we want to set that a certain way, and then we can push this lock button right here. So set the speed and then actually lock it into place so we don't have to use the pistol grip. Like I said before, the new spring mounted guards the edge guide that you can put in and put out the button to adjust the belt and of course the angle guide of how you want that to work and you guys can see it expand as i spin it around or contract so awesome you need a little bit more pricey and we'll have all the uh, details on that up below and we'll have some more videos with this and some final final reviews i'm going to wait till robbie comes up here and we're going to go to town with a couple of different blades and some axes and uh but you know doing everything from 15 to 30 degrees with a guide that's a a wide variety of cutlery that you can go to town on and actually my wife's got some uh, Wustoff kitchen knives upstairs that i might uh play around with there's a threaded area right here if you wanted to screw this into a bench or something like that that way it's totally stable but pretty pretty cool work sharp is hey man one of the best products i think of two years ago uh, when the original model came out and i think this ken onion edition is going to do very much that so give them a check out at WorkSharp, and let me know what you guys think hey guys adam from equipped indoor if you have any questions or comments please email me at adam at equipped .com. you guys take care be safe out there and remember if you're not always prepared you're never prepared thanks